Ape Champion into Victor Samira Pai Kha'Zix and the first champion that comes to my head is Kassadin because I love Kassadin into Victor. I love that matchup. It's super fun for Kassadin. Akali game. Guys, come on now. It's a Kassadin game. It's 100 billion trillion percent a Kassadin game. It's so easy to play this. Look at the enemy team comp, it's so bad into Kassadin too. Like, for those who don't know, okay? Pike is a terrible champion into Kassadin. Mundo is not very good into Kassadin. Kha'Zix, it's fine into Kassadin. Victor, not so good. Samira, not the best, but not the worst either. But yeah, most of their comp is kinda bad into Kassadin here. What keyboard do I have? Wooting. Elaborate what makes a champion good or bad versus casting. Champions that have high damage. I mean, it's kind of hard to simplify it, right? Because there's a lot of things. Champions do so many different things in Nick. But if I were to simplify it, which is not 100% accurate. Usually you want champions that do a lot of damage and ideally physical damage into casting because his base armor is very low. And basically the plane to casting is to kind of burst him before he bursts too. The mobility can be okay into him as well, but it depends what kind of mobility. Because Kassadin mobility is kind of matched in the game. So for example, Pai can have a lot of mobility in the kit, but what happens is that like level 11 and 16, Kassadin just becomes such a fucking fast champion that he just catches Pike super fast, even if Pike tries to run away. And because Pike is such a squishy champion, Kassadin tends to like one-shot Pike really easily. Also, Pike ult, Pike E and Pike Q are really bad spells against Kassadin because Kassadin has so many good ways to dodge them. There's like a, like you have to go champ to champ specific, right? There's like a lot of interactions champions have between each other. Like Kha'Zix is decent because um, once you, like, especially if you isolate it and Kha'Zix does a shit ton of damage with the Q, if Kha'Zix is isolated, he usually just dies really fast into Kha'Zix. And Kha'Zix does have like kind of consistent DPS against Kassadin and he kind of, oh shit. I'm I'm out. I'm fucking out, guys. I'm running. You should try to play Invoker and Meepo today in Dota. No, that is a horrible advice and I will not follow it. I am nowhere near even gold level in Dota that I can even start considering those champions. That's like that's like literally okay. Let me give you an, let me give you an example, okay? That's like me going to a silver player and telling them, hey, hey silver player, uh, you should try Huey and Yon. I think it's a good idea. No, it's fucking not. It's it's a horrible idea. I will be playing those champions once I get better at the game. Yon should be fine. Yes, Yon can work in low Edo because for a lot of reasons, I agree, Yon wouldn't be too bad, but Huey would be horrendously bad. But there's other examples like Fiora, Vayne Top, I don't know, like anything like that, it would be a pretty bad thing for a low Edo player to play. Ah, I shouldn't have doubly that one. Minions are looking a little bit rough here. Dude, how unlucky is that? My Q animation was in error already. Okay. He took a tower shot, that's not too bad. I did do a greedy start, which is starting Dark Seal instead of Doran Shield, so obviously your lane is gonna be a bit harder. Gonna start trading here because I know Kane is going for a gank. I'm trying to make him also... What, what is he... He's not even trying to run, that. <laughs> Plus two. I like taking the kill because I have Darkseid start. If I don't have Darkseid start, I would definitely think uh, kill on Kane is better. In general, kills on junglers early game are really, really good because jungle as a role has no responsibility, right? They're basically constantly active. They can go gank anyone at any moment of the game. They're just very, f they have a lot of freedom. So you kind of want to give jungler skills early because they are really snowball heavy roll as well. Okay, we got a nice start. He throws the lane, which is gonna make me like lose like one minion and one minion of gold as well. 
It is what it is. Our job right now is to just crash. I need to run. Uh oh, he's ghosting on me. He's not gonna use jump. Bro, the problem here is that ghost is 15 second cooldown. Oh my god, I actually don't die. Oh my god, I thought I was that for sure. I really thought I was that. Oh, I can't help you, bro. Kill them! Can I do this? His Halo Blades is gonna be up soon. I might die. Oh! Baby! Is my recoil greedy? It's a bit greedy. Oh, my wave mid is perfect, chat. It's bouncing. Now listen up, if this was last patch, Finish Codex would be such a good buy here. But this patch Finish Codex got nerfed a lot. So I think I'm gonna rather do boots here to come back to lanes faster. I mean, that's a really good start for me. I honestly thought I was that. So the problem is that like, I know Kha'Zix was gonna gank me and the mistake I make is that I ah. walk up too far to get Victor W'd. Malice Mulder, thank you, Mulder, Malice Mulder. But, because then Kha'Zix, a ghost as a summoner spell is really, really overtuned because it's 15 seconds. So it's like really noob expressive. There's like almost no skill in the summoner spell because it lasts too long. So the guy can chase me from one point of lane to another point of lane so easily and the ghost duration is still up. Which is very annoying to deal with as a player. Yeah, right now I'm massively ahead me then. I'm in a really good spot. I'm just gonna insta push this wave. Could have throw like could have slow pushed as well, that would be fine in this case. But I wanna join the bot action. Almost level six as well. We have Braum in a 3v3, I think we can't possibly lose this. Oh, Victor lost the cannon maybe? Why does he have an empty chair next to him? It's a chair for my cat. That's why. I don't know if I like this Jake call. I mean, we have bot push, we don't have mid push, but I'm gonna get 6. I guess it's an okay call, but the problem is that he's gonna lose a lot of HP doing the Jake. Okay, I, this minion I'm just gonna pull and then hover the, the cane. I need to hover here just in case enemy comes. I need to do this. This is gonna be very low HP, enemy can just kill him and then get the Jake. I'm gonna push just because... Um, I don't know where Victor is, maybe he won't bot here and pushing is kinda like a safe play. We're diving bot, we might end the game here. Alright. Kha'Zix is missing, could be on grubs. I don't do a lot of damage right now, but I have really good wave clear. Gonna tank his damage here and just get the plate. We're 800 gold from a huge, huge power spike. I'm on my way. Victor is simply far too behind the lane to really like for his damage to even matter. Pike is a pretty weak support at roaming midland against Castle in post 6. Bye bye Quinn. I should have definitely activated my potion. The fact that I didn't activate potion at the beginning made a huge difference. I keep forgetting about it. Okay. I love playing with Braum, it's such a simple, cool champion. Stand behind Braum.
job right now is to just push back. Oh my. Nobody saw that. Got Malignus gold though, I just have to sell the refillable. Because I lost the cannon. And now we are full build. I mean we're not full build, but we're so strong right now. We are insanely strong. It looks like the Pike completely gave up on laning with the Samira, so now my bot is just taking plates. They're all bots, don't fight. Victor is bot, so I'm gonna take plates. I don't know if my teammates just don't fight bot lane, or we got a huge lead mid lane. Not sure what's going on, but Victor has given up on landing mid, I think. Ouch! Hi, Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix was coming from here, that's why I didn't run. Because I know I would die to Kha'Zix. I think maybe dying to Pike? Could be maybe a better play. Blue Trinket? I never buy Blue Trinket, it's not a good Trinket to buy. Blue Trinket's value is often really, really weak. Because you use it, it has a very long cooldown, the vision you get is like nice for one second and then it disappears. I would rather have a trinket that's like, lasts for a much longer time than, than that, you know? Trying to get the last plate here. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Uh, I was testing my limits there, guys. An enemy has been slain. We call that testing limits. I'll read my Dark Soul. Perfect, deny the plate. This game just looks really over. We have three winning lanes and a hard outscaling comp. I'm gonna start counter jungling, although my champion is not very good at jungling. Gold for our triangle. 
Mm. Are we fighting this? I guess we are. We have a queen here. We're gonna have to fight it. Not bad. How messed up would Kassadin be if jungle could work? I'm pretty sure you can play Kassadin jungle. Like, yeah, you're kind of used to still level 6, but he can jungle probably. Like, with the new jungle item, you, any champion can kind of jungle in league these days. It's clear he's not obviously going to be the fastest, but... You know. On my way. Look at that damage and ult, and that cooldown. Two seconds in ultimate, and so much damage. Okay, job, uh, plan right now is to push one more wave, get enough tier stacks, then buy Seraph. Just like that. This champ is a Dota hero, Kassadin. Maybe a bit. What I buy? I hate, like, this. Okay, okay. This is why I hate the new mage items. Look at the spot I'm in, okay? What should Nemesis buy here? Because the problem is that a lot of big items buy mainly from this item, this four. They all buy from needlessly large rot, which is too much in my opinion. Too much. Like, I could go double amplifying Tom, because that's what builds into Zonia, sure. But what if I want to go a more damage oriented route, you know? Like Ravadon. Then I need to wait for like, so long, or like Banshee. Like, Zonia also kind of wants needlessly large rot more, like, you know? I don't like it too much. This is my biggest... My biggest problem with the new major items is how much, how much, how often you need needlessly large rot in your build right now. Samira? I don't know. I think she gave up, guys. Oh, I don't have TP. I base thinking I had TP, but I don't have it. Throwing a little bit. Lost two stacks. Maybe it's a major angle at some point since Samira is dying a lot. It is kind of annoying that I have to base very often because as soon as I get damaged, I kind of need to base. Let's quickly do this blue. Let's just play silent. My teammates seem to be having fun on mid lane. My tower. No Lich Ben Kassadin anymore. Kassadin does not really need Lich Ben that much because uh, Moonspeed is kind of wasted because he's so mobile already.
I'm running. I'm running. I don't want to die. Mundo just did Mundo things. All right, here's the play. We have to kill the Samira from Major. He doesn't go for another wave though. Changing my TP plan. I kill you then. I take it back. I actually can't kill him. What? No. I need to get out, Bram. I feel like I need to leave you. I don't want to die with my major. No, I can't kill anybody. They're all so tanky. If I bought Rabadon, people would die, but because I bought Magi, people didn't die in that fight. Damn it. Okay, well. Still don't have enough for Rabadon. Gotta farm a little bit more. I'm gonna go bot. This Mundo is in full armor. I can do a lot of damage to him. Nice. I was actually afraid I was I didn't have enough to kill him. But I did barely. Plus four major finally a kill. I need a little bit more now. And now I go Zonia, I think. Because I'm so damage heavy. Status Stasis is a very very strong active. When you're very glass cannon when you're hat. Trump the cast and abuses it really well. Goodbye, Mundo. Plus four again. And remember, guys, I'm not even level 16. And I'm jumping around so fast right now. 153 gold from first check. Yep. It's very, very good on late game. Especially against melee champions. You can stack it so easily. Plus four. Goodbye. Got 25 meter. Now we quickly base. Buy the last item. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Now we're TP, we're full built. Bye to you. Bye to you. Your team has destroyed 
Bye bye. Plus 50. And that's what I meant when I said that casting looks giga busted in a draft like that. Because it does. I know when it's a good casting game. Every time enemy team picks enemy team picks Victor, it's usually just a good casting game by default because Victor is a horrible champion into casting these days. Nemesis, every champion in this game has one movement speed item. Riot, fix this. I know, man. I know. Movement speed is too much these days. I have a very, very easy fix for movement speed, by the way. The easiest way, or what I think Riot should do, is they need to cap the amount of MS they can put on items. So, um, Riot has recently made a decision that Storm Search is going to be the highest active slash passive item in the game. Which is technically not true because something like Kraken can do way more, but okay, sure. Like a proc damage item or whatever. So I think Riot should do the same for moon speed items. Riot needs to make it so the max amount of moon speed they can put on an item is 5%. Because 5% MS is extremely balanced still. But I think everything that goes over 5% is just way too much. Like right now, Leech Bane, Shiralia, uh, give 8, Storm Surge gives 8, which I think is too much. I think certain assassin items I also think give eight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh yeah. It, it should just be five, and then if the items are too weak, PD gives ten. Okay, maybe there should be exceptions to the rule. I definitely think PD giving five would be too little. But PD should probably also not be giving ten. I think probably PD should be eight, and then yeah. 